Hello guys, I'm Sammy and today we're going to talk about how to reduce your ping or your latency in online games, especially competitive ones where those few milliseconds could really count for a lot. Now, it's not guaranteed that there's anything you can do about your ping, which I'm going to explain why that is in a few seconds, but there is a really high chance that there are some things that you can change in order to improve your ping. So, in order to understand these things, we need to have a good concept of how ping works. Now, this graphic shows it quite well, what happens if you're playing on your Xbox, or on your PC, on, or on any kind of device. Let's say you play Call of, you know, War, or Call of Blood, or Call of Big Gun, or Call of Death. Now, what you will do is you will press a button in order to shoot your gun. Now, this is basically a signal that is sent by your device, which will take a certain time traveling through the networks, um, through the lines in the ground, and reach the game server, all right? Now, there in the game server, the information will take a little bit of time to process, and then a confirmation will be sent back to your device, again, through all the lines and all the cables, and it will arrive and it will actually happen on your device and you will see yourself shooting and so on. Now, the problem here is that there is a whole lot of stuff that you cannot really control, especially, for example, the server processing time, which is part of your ping. However, this should, theoretically at least, be the same for anyone, so it's kind of fair the server processing time that it is there. Now, what you also may not in, be entirely able to control is the lines through which your signal is sent to the server, which makes up most of the time, to be honest. Now, what this depends on is basically your internet service provider. Now, if you have a really bad internet service provider that has really outdated cables and outdated hardware, well, then you're just basically screwed and you need to find another ISP or internet service providers, the people that, ha that own the cable that deliver the internet to you. Now, this is one thing that can be a huge problem, especially if you live in a part of the world where you don't really have a choice between a lot of internet service providers in <laughs> America. Uh, in America, for example, you often only have uh, a choice of one single um, internet service provider. And if, you're not, if you don't like them, well, you can just not have internet, which is not really an option. Now, let's have a look at a few things that you can check out to make sure that your ping is optimized. It's more of a don't do certain things rather than things that you can do to improve because there aren't really that many. Now, first of all, if you're using a wireless router, don't use a wireless router, okay? Don't. This will increase your ping by a whole lot, not to mention all the problems that you can potentially have with these things. Um, it will increase your latency by a lot and it's incredibly unhealthy if you listen to some studies and so on. Um, if you want to play competitive online games and you want to be good at them and have a decent ping, then do not use a wireless router. Um, if you have to, and I have actually done this, use a network cable. And if you have to drill holes into walls, then you do that. You need a ethernet cable, a network cable on your computer that goes not to a router, but to the actual modem provided by your ISP. That's the fastest you can do. Um, of course, wireless routers make for a very good Halloween costume, but other than that, they're very bad, at, le at least for online gaming. Now, another thing you can optimize is if you're downloading anything <laughs> illegal or, or not so much um, in the background, um, shut down whatever program is downloading or uploading stuff through your computer. Especially uploading can, uh, you know, decrease, uh, increase your ping by a lot. So, 
Get rid of all these processes and all the programs. Make sure nothing is up or downloading on your PC at all. Shut down Steam if you can, because Steam sometimes seems it necessary to upload things or Battle.net or whatever clients you're using to down and upload games. Just shut them down. It will most likely increase, uh, decrease your ping by a whole lot. Then another thing, if you're watching, you know, Charlie Byte, his brother or whatever, in the background, if you like, you know, listening to whatever, YouTube video or other kinds of stuff or podcasts in the background while you're playing video games, shut that down as well, because this is another thing that is using your internet connection and can therefore increase your ping. Also, if you have any kind of imbeciles like this or that guy or, you know, your cat using your internet connection while you're playing, that can be a problem as well. Because even though they may be using another device or another PC to use the same connection, uh, that can slow you down tremendously. So if your cat is downloading um, the whole trilogy or, I don't know, quadrology of Harry Potter while you're playing your game, um, that might increase your ping tremendously as well. Get it? All right. So, next thing, as I've already mentioned, you need network cable directly to your computer from the most direct source of internet that you can find. All right? This is very important. And if you have to get a really long cable, in my case, I had to, like, get a 14 meter cable and you know drill holes into walls and so on to make this work but you really need that because as I've said wireless routers are <coughs> unacceptable to use you know words that I don't have to beep all right <laughs> so don't do that now another thing obviously your ISP as I've already mentioned your ISP can really screw you over in that uh, sometimes they will make connections slower at certain times, especially at peak times like 6 p.m. to 12 uh, to 10 p.m. in the evening, and it's a whole mess, all right? And there's not that much you can do in some countries of the world, but in others you can just simply um, change your ISP. Also, if you're really serious about using the web 24-7, you might want to have two ISPs and be able to switch between them whenever you need which can also help you improve pings and well if one ISP stops working you can simply switch to the other which is awesome uh, yeah but ISPs are you know generally pretty bad people in my opinion because well they make their money by just having owning cables having a monopoly on cables and as long as there is really no um, considerable other people that are providing this, uh, the same service or, you know, competition, as they call it in economics, um, they really don't have any incentive to provide a good customer experience to you, which is kind of sad. Um, then another thing that's very important and that has screwed me over in the past, in the pretty distant past, but nonetheless, is malware. Now, what you need to realize is that your virus scanner, though I hope you, you have a virus scanner or an antivirus software, will not recognize all malware. It only detects the most well-known and the most common malware. Uh, but there's, there will always be malware that goes through all these, um, these security programs. So what can happen is that you might not be able to notice it, but someone might be using your computer to send, for example, emails or to mine data or to mine Bitcoin and they are using your internet connection without your knowledge. They may also be doing that with other PCs that are on the same network as yours. So if your dad, your sister, your mom has a virus mining stuff on their PC, that might slow down your internet connection as well. So I would recommend you get rid of all the malware on your own PC and on the PCs connected to your network, which can also decrease your ping because these bastards people stuffs, these evil people that use your PC without your knowledge, um, are then unable to do that, which will free up a lot of um, traffic from your network and decrease your ping. 
Also, if you have any unnecessary firewalls in a, uh, running on your PC, shut them down. Might work a little bit. Doesn't do that much. But, you know, it helps. Maybe one millisecond or so. I don't know. You can try that as well. Yeah. So, as I said, malware can really screw you over. Um, yeah. And there's also game clients that, without your knowledge, uh, include uh, P2P sharing of, of game files in order to, you know, outsource the downloading and uploading of, of, of games. You should, you know, look into that, disable it, or just end the, the game processes once you're not playing a game. That can help optimize as well. And in general, everything that helps free up traffic on your line may be useful to you. What's also useful is if you're in a really, you know, in one of those... I don't want to say third world countries, but, you know, kind of second, third world countries where internet connections are generally incredibly slow, like India or South Africa or wherever you may be in the world, um, and you have real slow internet. Um, you may also want to look into um, VPNs, gaming VPNs, a virtual private network. I have heard from some sources, not very credible, that they can help reduce your um, ping as well. I've I've read a post from someone on a forum that claimed to be from, I don't know, Mumbai or somewhere in, in India, and they generally had a ping between 250 and 360 to a, a server located in Europe. And then they used a, a gaming VPN or a virtual private network, and their ping was reduced to 120, which is decent. I mean, if you consider that you're in India and connected to a, a, a server located in the EU. So, and I, that's also another thing. Um, if you're connected to the wrong server, so for example, you are in Europe and you connect to a North American server, that's sub ideal, obviously, because let me just show you this graphic right here. Um, the internet, uh, or let's say the, 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 the electrons that are sent to connect you to the internet, uh, they have travel time. Um, though they travel at near light speed or at light speed, um, it still takes time. So as you can see, 100 kilometers takes uh, 0.67 milliseconds. 1,000 kilometers takes 6 milliseconds. 10,000 kilometers takes 67 milliseconds. So I guess from America to Europe, that, that might be just increasing your your latency by 67 milliseconds each way. And it's got to travel twice, all right? And that's not even counting uh, the server processing time. So you have 120, 130 milliseconds just from the travel time alone. All right, and then another thing is that during peak times when a lot of people play certain games, like, you know, let's just name the most played game ever, League of Legends, uh, during peak times, the servers you're connected to in um, North America or Europe may be slower than the ones that you're connected to during um, non-peak times. So at 3 a.m. in the morning, your connection may be considerably faster than at 8 p.m. when everybody is playing a game, all right? So, that's basically everything I can tell you about ping redu reduction for the moment, at least. If I get more information or some secret tricks, I may make, might make another video, but for now, that's really all that you can do. It's less the things that you can do and more the things that you shouldn't do wrong. I hope this has helped you, and I hope you're able to reduce your ping by a little bit and increase your performance. Thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.